Hello guys, and welcome back again to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. Last time, we had a serious fail. Poor Aliwood, his father died, and... Well, we pretty much didn't do well there. I mean, we stopped Nergal for once, but... Eh. Now we're back in Baden, where we first met Fargus. And we're going to decide what to do from there. Poor Hector feeling left out. Now this is when we start learning more about why Nergal's been trying to kill everybody and start a war.
Natural fighting ability. Sure. Oh, there goes Nil's special power. So much for handling it yourselves. Now, this chapter is actually gonna be fun compared to the last few chapters. We'll also get to level up some units that could use leveling. And it was it was hard for me to pick the uh, units to use in this chapter because you can only use eight. And besides Barter and Canis, I had to separate all the support couples, so that'll be f interesting. But it should be fun anyways. So Nils is sharing power with Ninian since she wants to go out and get in trouble. Uh, yeah. Come on. Walk out there in your pretty dress. You don't even look like you belong on the battlefield. Okay, let's talk about Ninian. She's pretty much Nils. She can dance to uh, make a person go again. She shares the same levels as Nils too, so you'll see that she is level 20, 
levels maxed out. And um, remember that one, uh, what is it, side quest that we did in um, Lin Mode where we ran after the guys who stole their ring? She's got that ring on her. It's, uh, if you use it on somebody, then, uh, it'll boost their, uh, defensive capabilities, which is pretty useful. So, uh, yeah. Ellie would just got a restore staff, which will be useful in this chapter, which you, and you'll find out soon enough. So we'll make Ninny and dance again. She's certainly not as cool as Nels. Yeah, we'll move Florina up here. Because there's going to be some mages. Hector, since he is level 20 and all maxed out for the time being, I just took his weapon away and I'm just going to use him as a trolling bait. We got Barter and Canis, Matthew, since it's foggy and there's an item that the boss is holding that I want to steal. And, uh, yeah, we got Rebecca and Sarah and stuff. There's going to be a lot of flying units. And I believe this is also the first, um,. Stage where we get to fight Wyvern Rivers, I think, which is that red guy right there. And there's another one. So they're they're about, uh, I mean, flying units, and they're they're like uh, Pegasus units except their defensive uh, defensive stats are reversed. They have high defense and low magic defense. Very nice, Florina. So that's, that's pretty much one reason why I brought Canis, since Canis hits like a truck with his magic. And Florina is just making mashed potatoes out of those Lucius wannabes. So yeah, most of the enemies in this stage have poison weapons. But while they don't have that high of a hit rate, they can poison if they hit you. take care of him. I didn't really want to give Matthew weapons, but I didn't want to have two empty-handed people. Plus, I believe the boss uses an axe anyways. So you see, those guys don't have very good magic defense. Yeah, we'll just move Hector there for the sake of getting in the way. Ellie would um, move down there. Rebecca finish off that guy. Yeah, that brave bow is pretty nice with it allowing you to hit consecutively. Yay! 
Yeah, Ninian is like my least favorite character in the game. I mean, she's not completely useless, like... She can be a nice... She can be a nice live bait, cause... Oh, very nice, Sierra. But yeah, Ninian's got some pretty good defensive stats. I think she's better than Hector, even. And she's also pretty quick, and it's hard to hit her, so... That's nice about her. They don't really like her as a person. I like how they can't really scratch Hector. They can only poison him. Well, that makes him scratch him. Because Hector's magic defense is not that great. Wow. I don't know how you hit him like- I mean how you missed him like that, but okay. Wow. 